Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com and in this section we will talk about another very common benign lesion of the uterus which are the polyps. In this we will talk about different types of polyps, what's the pathology, how they present and what's the investigation and management of the polyps. Polyps are these, in this diagram you see, these are the polyps present inside the uterine cavity. This is the uterus endometrium lining and inside the body or cavity you see these are the polyps. Polyps are the growth which are attached to the wall. If they are attached with the help of the stalk, they are known as pedunculated polyps or if they are not attached with the help of the stalk, they are known as sessile polyps. Different types of the polyps, we have uh, pedunculated polyps, we have sessile polyps and there are polyps in the cervical cavity. These are the cervical polyps. So polyps are usually present in the uterus and cervix. If they are attached with the help of a stalk, they are known as pedunculated polyp. If there is no stalk, they are known as the sessile polyps. Some risk factors associated with the polyps are uh, usually the hormone replacement therapy leads to the formation of polyps. Uh, tamoxifen therapy. Tamoxifen is the therapy used for the treatment of breast cancer and it can lead to the formation of polyps. Diabetes is another risk factor. Hypertension, obesity, overweight and increased age. These are some common risk factors associated with the fo formation of the polyps or abnormal growths. Hormone replacement therapy, which is usually uh, can be um, uh, like oral contraceptive pills or if after menopause that can uh, lead to formation of polyps. Demoxifene used for the treatment of breast cancer, diabetic patients, hypertension or high blood pressure or as the age increase, uh, a patient is more towards the uh, age of menopause after reproductive age, the incidence of polyp is more. Now the pathology is these are the uh, path histological uh, pictures showing the uh, polyps or growths of the tissues and these are the diagrams of the polyps. Pedunculated and pedunculated. Next, what are the signs and symptoms of the uh, polyps? There is usually excessive uh, bleeding uh, or excessive discharge from the vagina, which is usually maybe offensive or uh, foul smelling discharge. There is irregular bleeding either pre or post menopausal. It can be before menopause or after menopause. Um, there is usually contact Contact bleeding. Contact bleeding is common in cervical polyp. When the contact is uh, 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 contact occur, maybe during uh, intercourse or uh, when d during any other handling, then usually there is bleeding. Multiple endometrial polyps may cause infertility or miscarriage in young women. So depending on if there are multiple polyps present, it can lead to infertility or even miscarriage. So all these are the signs and symptoms associated with the polyps. Investigations done for polyps are usually a transvaginal son sonogram which can easily diagnose the presence of polyps in the cervix or the uterus. Uh, the polyp is seen as a echogenic mass. 
Saline infusion sonography is usually another test done in which saline is infused and that can give and then ultrasound is performed to find out if there are any growths present. The polyp is seen as echogenic ma uh, mass much better compared to transvaginal sonogram if saline infusion uh, sonography is performed. Another investigation is hysteroscopy uh, to visualize the uterine polyp and do the polytech polypectomy. When hysteroscopy is performed and the doctor can see the polyps present inside the uterus, the benefit of this procedure is polyps can be removed at the same time. So they can be removed and they're treated. Then hysterography is performed in which uh, there are usually the filling defects present. In this again, hysterography is the picture of the uterus after the dye is injected. And when the dye is injected, you can see the filling gaps present if there are fibroids or polyps present. Then examination under anesthesia in which usually the abdominal cavity or uterine cavity is explored. Uh, usually the exploration of the cavity is performed by curate. And then uh, if there is any polyps or fibroids, polypectomy or uh, uh, fibroids can be removed and then if they need to tissue for examination or for biopsy that can be taken and sent to the lab for further examination. So the examination under anesthesia is an extensive procedure. Anesthesia is given and then uh, detailed exploration is performed and if there are any growths or uh, uh, polyps present that they can can be removed at the same time and they can be sent for histology. Then sound test. Sound test is the test in which um, uh, it is done to differentiate fibroid polyp from chronic inversion, inversion of the uterus. And this sound test is done if a uterine sound is passed all round between the pedicle and the dilating cervical canal, it is a polyp. So it's a uterine sound, it's a long instrument which is inserted. Usually a sound is inserted before any procedure performed on the uterus uh, like DNC to find out the direction of the uterus, whether it is um, a, a position or it's right or it's retroverted or inverted. So in this case, if the sound pass clearly, uh, it, it means it is a polyp. Then management of the polyp is hysteroscopy, resection, uterine curettage. Some causes of the recurrence of the polyp is incomplete removal of the polyp. If there is persistence of the uh, cause leading to again polyp formation or if there is malignancy. So these are the causes if the polyps form uh, again and again or if there is recurrence of the polyps. These are the three main reasons usually malignancy is present or if there is incomplete removal of the polyp or if there is persistence of the leading cause. If the leading cause is present, polyps keep on forming again and again. And they can be removed by hysteroscopy, resection, and uterine curettage. So that was all about the management of the uterine polyps. Thank you for watching scardia.com.